Hello guys, I'm just off North Strip. I'll show it to you in a minute. And I wanted you to take a look at, you know, how far Westgate actually is uh, from the strip. Um, when you look at it, when you look at a map, it doesn't, you know, look that far, but it's a really bad walk. I mean, it's a long walk. So when, if you stay at Westgate, the only way really feasible to come to the strip or go downtown, of course, is to use the downtown and strip express or um, of course the monorail and the monorail is kind of expensive unfortunately but that these are your two uh, realistic choices can you see westgate there um now this used to be so such a derelict area but it's getting better a little bit better um you've got seagull suite select i remember this place when uh, there was a really decent motel here actually and then there was uh, maybe not here but maybe further down i can't remember because they're all gone um either further down or this was the really bad motel one of the two i stayed in a, on a in a really bad motel some time ago and it's no longer here thankfully uh probably yeah it's probably being replaced by one of these buildings okay then you have oh yes um before i, I show you something i just want to show you that from here obviously you can walk it's walkable to circus circus and Angkor is not that far either there you go Angkor there and then you've got a new place um new ownership at least and then and i'll show it to you in a minute uh, it's uh, the royal resort right there can you see it yeah i'll show it to you a little bit better and then there you've got the ross dress for that. so this area is actually getting a little bit of a facelift in anticipation um well like in anticipation of um the fact that there's going to be resorts world over there and i'll show it to you in a minute now this building here is just um office offices and here on the other hand is um, where you can enjoy some indoor skydiving i always want to go and uh, i always forget to go <laughs> i'm never in this area hardly ever in this area then further up towards the strip there's walgreens which you can see and this is the royal resort that i wanted to show you very briefly i believe and correct me if i'm wrong there used to be the san remo resort here um quite a while ago actually so you know it's just looking a little bit fresher still it's not exactly the most exciting area yet of course that massive hall or, or empty area there is where Riviera used to stand and that building the blue building over there is still uninhabited and it's been like that it's a ghost building which is kind of a shame because it's huge so this is the royal resort that I mentioned to you this is the royal resort from this side it's rather a small place but um at least you're in a decent location if you don't mind being north strip okay so it all depends on the prices on the rates that you can find for yourselves now somehow by the royal resort you've got sports car rentals i thought you might want to take a look at it i don't want to actually do any advertising but uh take a look so you get these car rentals here this sports car some of oh look do you want to see this that's just funny there you go you can rent this is it is it true what i'm saying two and a half hours 99 dollars well, or maybe it's not that bad if it's just the two of you right but um what can i say it's vegas i tell you i have seen some water bottles and some of those resorts that cost even more than that <laughs> so okay we're about to approach the strip just where resorts world one day will be and building uh, construction is actually taking place very slowly as i said walgreens is here and we were just right there right I still am not keen on this little mall. Uh, it looks a little bit like old, old, old Vegas, I guess, a bit cheesy. I don't know, you can think of a way to describe it. But you know, sometimes it's handy to have, I mean, there's a pizza place over there, why not, you know? Indian food, right? Uh, Indian restaurant buffet, right? Oh, I have to show you this. There's a little advert van, <laughs> so you can find out 
I'm going to have to re-review it, you know. I'm going to have to. And, by the way, I'm here also because I want to show you, as I said, Resorts World, you know, a little bit of an update in this video. And then I want to show you the new Lucky Dragon Resort, which will be another video. But this is why I'm here. And here you've got all you can eat Korean barbecue for $16.95 per person and uh, the Indian buffet, which is open right now. So that was the buffet. I, I didn't want to review it. I didn't want to sit down and review it because I do have a very packed schedule. I'm going to go later on, but it's a little bit, I don't really feel comfortable video reviewing it because it's so small. I don't think it's, um, I think it's just a little bit, it, it might put off other guests. I wasn't told anything bad, they were very nice. So I might go back um, when I have a minute and uh, and then write about it on top-buffet.com. I already have an Indian buffet section, so I'm just gonna update it a little bit. Uh, it smelled delicious and I was told that the, the food rotates every day, which is good. Uh, it's popular, I mean, um, you know when you have, you go to an Indian buffet, you want to see people coming from India eating there you know lots of them because it just like it's a good sign <laughs> okay so if you are staying at the Angkor it's actually quite easy to come here okay now I'm going back to the strip and I'll show you what I come here to show you oh yes and, and before I go yes I was told the lunch is $12.99 which is plus taxes of plaques of course but it's a very affordable price I wish I had that at where I live you cannot even have an appetizer for that price where I live. Okay, so now I'm on the strip. That's Angkor. It's right, you know, I can't see it. And here you've got your cheesy, do I say cheesy? Souvenir shops. Oh, what the hell, right? <laughs> it's fine. And tacos, El Gordo. The best tacos I've had, though, wait for it, are the fish tacos at Aria, at the Aria Buffet. Wow, they were good. Tell you why it's popular. Have you seen the prices? Yes. It's always something exciting in Vegas. There's always a little bit for everybody. Price wise, you can have really expensive stuff and really, really, really affordable stuff if you know where you're looking or where to look. Okay, um, that's Resorts World. That. What do you think about the progress? Well, something's happened, right? Let me take a look. And of course, more of these uh, sports car rentals. And now that I'm a little bit far away, I didn't like the smell, believe it or not. I know there are a lot of people lining up and maybe the food is good when you eat it, but the smell was very off-putting, a lot. Um, so, you know, my specialty is buffets, but I do review a couple of uh, special joints, you know, like, and you can see on top-buffet.com, 24-hour, cheap 24-hour eating places, you know, but nice places, you know, somewhere where you can build a memory and also where you can have an affordable experience or a gourmet experience, but not like just the ordinary stuff that you can find everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it nice that you no longer have these things like, these um, leaflets distributed on the on the strip as you used to. I mean, you couldn't walk. I, I'm not a prude, I don't care, but I just, you couldn't walk, they were all over the place. And now that you can just like go, pull them up yourself discreetly <laughs> and do what you need to do, guys. Oh, girls. You know, here, somewhere here, I think I used to buy very affordable um, luggage, really, really affordable luggage. And it wasn't even that bad, it didn't even break. Uh, during my first six months of use so it was actually okay but I don't see it anymore oh I think this is it I'm talking about it I mean it's just facing me staring me in the face so there you go you know um, well you know for the strip you know that's not affordable 50 bucks for that it's just not affordable anymore things do change don't they you can get this I remember this li these little ones, the cute little carry-on ones. Oh, that's 19.99. But you can get those for, I believe, 20 euros in Budapest. And you know, some of you will say, "Well, I'm not going to go there, am I?" You, what I mean is, you can find cheaper places, even in the U.S., especially in the U.S. Now, okay, so here, I hope I'm not shaking too much. Uh, so this is where I was before, Royal Resort, blah, blah, blah. 
Now I'm going to cross and I'm going to show you what's happening at Resort World, though I think you can see for yourself there's actually been some construction, minor construction is due to be open theoretically in 2018, so there's tons of time. But uh, what I need to do now, I'll, 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 you know, this is it, okay, I'll show you a little bit better. That's, this is it. It's a huge place, it's going to be huge, okay? And you got some palm trees, thankfully, and that's it because the sun's really shining in my eyes and probably the, the video camera. And before you wonder, this is end of 2016, so the update is for the end of 2016, and this is what the situation is. So, you know, maybe by the time our resort tour will be built, uh, is built, you will have some trees here, although they did plant them rather small. Uh, it's gonna take a while for them to grow, but nonetheless, it, it'll be better, right? I mean, I think when Resorts World is, is going to be operation, operational, um, it, it will be, there'll be a huge change in this area. I don't know what's gonna happen where Riviera used to stand, but nothing so far. And a word, a word about Las Vegas weather. Um, this is, we are really, this is the end of November and uh, today, despite what you might see, it's actually a very hot day, you know? People are wearing thick clothes because just a couple of hours ago it was very, very, very overcast and it looked... I mean, obviously when the sun is not shining, it's cooler. Much cooler, especially in the evening, being in the desert. But, um, um, but it is warm. I'm, I, have, I have a short, a t-shirt and I'm, I'm actually hot. And uh, although when I arrived a few days ago, I was cold. I was worried that I didn't have anything. Despite having just brought a jacket by chance, I actually was freezing. So I think that when you are in winter, you can have really warm days, but you can also have cold days. So um, end of fall, winter, always bring one item that's you know heavy enough and then something that's light because I think that the temperature changes a lot. And, and also, of course, between day and night. I still dislike this walk. I mean, it's quite filthy. You don't know what I just saw on the floor. Should I show it to you? I just, no, I'm not going to. I'd have to go back and it smelt. Um, so, and there are no dogs that I can see. Um, I really don't like this area, despite the fact that it's getting better. I just don't, I never did. I, staying no strip, it's a huge turn off for me. It doesn't feel like Vegas. It feels like even some inner city. Um, but then, you know, judge for yourself, right? For yourselves. Um, but of course, you know, as you approach Stratosphere, it's just a little bit better. Um, but this area here, between Stratosphere and Angkor, it's still ugly. Let's just face it. So if you want to visit somewhere here, you might, I don't know, it just might be better if you actually come with a car or just get, be prepared for it. A lot of people walk it. I'm walking it right now, but it's, un, it's not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. One day when Resorts World will be open, uh, then yes, it will be great, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't know what Resorts World is and will be like, um, I have a section on top-buffet.com and, uh, and it, I talk about the plans, what's gonna be like and uh, the theme. It's going to be an Asian themed resort. And I think it's about time because um, I miss that. You know, we, we need it, we need it. That's where Riviera used to stand. And I think they planted some trees. Let's hope they managed not to kill them <laughs> or not to let them die. They're not looking too healthy, to be honest. Because you need trees, right? You need trees. I know it's desert, but and I know some of you say, no, 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 it's bad, it's bad. But I think, you know, wherever humans and animals live, you need trees, psychologically as well as for your own life. So that's, uh, you know, currently the entrance to Resorts World, I mean. And I see trees, just as I was talking about them. And they're getting bigger. Uh, but this is it. I'm sure there's work going on, but this is it, you know, nothing to show you really. I think I have more to show you further up when, uh, I can see already some uh, the top of uh, Lucky Dragon. Oh, and this is of course McDonald's, which is nice and big, and it's close to Circus Circus. Now this has lots of fun, and you know I remember when I stayed at Circus Circus. This is where I would come and have a sub, 
Subway sub. It's fine, it's affordable, you know, Subway. And you know, those days when I, did, I couldn't quite stomach eating at the at Circus Circus Buffet and I wanted something affordable. Uh, but having said that, Circus Circus Buffet has got a little bit better and I do have a, re a review on it and a video review on it as well. That's a deuce bus coming. See, I showed you that uh, blue building and look, it's still not complete and it hasn't been touched for years. It's, this is how it is. And that's Circus Circus, which is like, I don't know, look, do you think that one day when Resorts World is uh, operational, do you think that uh, Circus Circus entrance will get better? Because it isn't that great. I don't care if it just has to be because it's a circus, but they could make it a little bit better, couldn't they? I guess it didn't, they didn't have to before. Ooh, they're going to get some view. They have some views now. <laughs> and Westgate there is right there. Look, it looks so close. And yet it's so far, guys. Don't attempt it. I mean, unless you fit. See, like this is it. Is this new? You know what? I don't remember. I don't remember seeing this before. There you go. Something. We gotta do something about this entrance. What do you say, guys? We gotta do something. Okay, now I'm gonna walk towards Stratus because I wanna show you the Lucky Dragon Hotel. And just to give you a bit of perspective, I'm walking towards Stratosphere on the North Strip. And I have to admit, you know, I just passed a couple of decent places. Um, mm -mm. Like Hilton Vacations right here and Sky further down. It's a little tiny, it's a small, nice cluster of respectable places. But the area outside is still not nice. Maybe one day this will be really nice, you know, especially as I say, after a big resort like Resorts World is built and operational. And I'm out of breath because I'm kind of running because I am in a rush. SLS is there. Oh, they were showing the best visual tricks. I'll show you when, when it comes on. Um, and of course, that's Lucky Dragon, the new resort and casino uh, that I've just come here to show you. Did I tell you last time as well? I'm a little bit it, um, it bothers me. Look, they plant trees and they let them die. What is the point? You gotta water them, especially when they're young. Even I know that. And I don't, you know, plant trees for a living. It's just so sad, you know, just plant them, water them. Anyway, so um, if you wonder what this area is, this belongs to MGM Resorts. And it's an area where, you know, you can rent, you can have trade fairs. Lots of things, but every time I come here, nothing's happening. <laughs> anyway, I'm walking fast because I've got to go that way. I'm going to turn left and I want to show you this uh, brand new resort. And this is, is SLS Resort and I have a video walkthrough and a written review of this resort and its rooms. Uh, so I will not um, dwell on this this time, okay? So. As you can see, it's actually quite close uh, when you reach this intersection of the strip, the no strip. As I said, that's SLS. You can enter SLS from there. Beer garden there for you thirsty people. And uh, the famous, famous because it's been here since I can remember, general store you know it's kind of a landmark presumably and of course you've got the stratosphere tower and the stratosphere resort behind and you've got this new apartment building block here and just behind you have the lucky dragon which i'm going to show you okay guys so this is the outside of the lucky dragon hotel and casino chinese themed love that see the sign here there you go, I'm here. And I'm going to review it. You review the inside. It opened earlier. I thought it would open in December. Love it when they're ahead of schedule. Um, so I'm going to review the inside in a separate video. Otherwise, it just becomes too long and messy and confusing. Okay, guys. Now, if you have any questions, ask me on top We have a comment section there. I do reply to all your comments and questions there. 
If you're watching from the, the, this video from the website, you know where to go. And if you're watching this video from YouTube, um, you can post your comments on YouTube, but I do not reply to them, but I read them. I read them. And I thank you for all of them, okay? Um, I explain somewhere else why I don't uh, answer uh, YouTube comments, but I do read them all and I welcome them greatly. And I appreciate, appreciate them all. Um, and all the updated videos on Vegas are on the real Vegas video section of top-pepper.com. Okay, guys, see you there. Bye-bye.